Dr. Marcia of Move with Marcia here and follow along as we work on some hip mobility. The focus today is going to be hip rotation and addressing deep glute pain like piriformis or maybe rotations kind of keeping you from progressing in lifts or whatever it is. So what do you need? A lacrosse ball or dumbbell nearby because we're going to get into some tissue work, uh, floor space, and maybe the wall if you need support later. That's about it. So let's get started. So grab that dumbbell or lacrosse ball. If you have it, that'll be easier. And get it nearby, then we'll lay down. So lay down on our backs and then warm up a little bit here. So we're just gonna do some knee down and up. Let's go to the right. And back up, just loosening up. Who knows what you've been up to? Maybe you're a little stiff. Two more, same direction, knees right. And then last one, stay down. And we're gonna get the arms into it. So put your arms into a T. And you're gonna do rotation from there. So touch and open. Try to push down with these knees so they don't come up five times two three four five and back knees up let's do knees left five reps and five we stay down And five, stay down. Open the arms up to a T. Touch. And open for five twists. One. Two. Three. Four. Five knees up, grab behind the right knee, and just hang here, ankle circles, switch directions. Good. Now we're going to do straight leg, as straight as straight as for you, and pull to the armpit. One. Two. Three, four, five. Now straight leg, as straight as straight can be. Hold it here, hands off, circles. Switch directions. Good, when you're done, stay here. Now we're gonna go wider with the circles, all the way down, turn the foot out, Swing it around, back up again. This one we're just gonna do three and then switch directions. So if you have trouble with that, support the leg. Switch directions. So go out first and then in. If you're like me, you might snap, crackle, pop. If it doesn't hurt, it doesn't necessarily always mean something. But if it hurts, then we definitely want to pay attention. All right, back up and down. Repeat for the left. Hands behind the knee, relax, ankle circles. Switch directions. Okay, straight leg, knee to armpit for five. One. Two, three, four. I'm gonna have to move over. Five, you're still here. Leg up. I'm gonna move over. I know I won't have space. 
circles. Five rounds, switch directions. You might find some, maybe you come back to this on a different day and it's easier or harder. Keep in mind if you worked out that day, maybe you're stiff, things change, so don't beat yourself up. Big circles down, turn the foot out, come around and back for three. One more. Switch direction. So out first, then down, toe up for three. Oh, there it is. Nine throttle pop. One more. And up and down. So our hips should be nice and juicy. Let's sit up and let's work on that muscle before we get into the rotation stretches. So lacrosse ball or you want to do it the DIY way, just use the hard side of a small dumbbell. So we're going to do both sides. If you know you have one side that's like a problem area, maybe you could stick to that side only, but I'd say go for both. So you're going to find the spot that's between butt bone and the bone up here and put the dumbbell or lacrosse ball right there and sit on it. So I'm on my left side first. I'm searching for it. I'm gonna straighten my right leg and just put the pressure on it. So you might feel, it's not pleasant, but you might feel as you put the pressure on it, that muscle slowly just melts. Sometimes it does right away, sometimes it doesn't. So if you feel changes in sensation, just know that that's normal. You might also feel some nerve pain because that piriformis is right on top of the sciatic nerve. So if you have sciatica or any symptoms like that already, this may aggravate it. Once the pressure is off, it should be gone. It should be. If it's not, then you know that this is not for you. Maybe you're not quite ready for it. Maybe you're not quite executing it well. Maybe it's just not for you right now. Whatever the reason, just don't do it. If you find you come out of it and it's just oof, not working. So you can kind of rock if you want to. You can kind of try and do little circles if you want, or you could just keep the pressure static, as in still. 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna switch sides. So that was about a minute. If you found that this is actually feeling really good when it comes off, you can do this anytime sitting. You can do it in standing. If you lean against the wall or you're just sitting in a chair. All right, take your time coming out and switch sides. So you can do this at any time if you need to release that muscle. So now we're going for the right, find that spot. That's it. I'm gonna hang out real chill here. And just let gravity do its work. My knee coming down, my weight shifted over. Let gravity do its thing. Delicious. About 10 more seconds, then we're going to move into 90-90 stretches. All right, come out. Nice and slow. Oh, that side was angry. All right, so I'm going to start leaning against the wall. You don't have to, but I just want to present this option off the bat. So feet are up, and we're going to do knees to the right. So while we're here, my right knee is pretty close to my knee. If you're feeling okay, you can make that deeper. Face the forward knee. Now we're going to focus on the front knee. Try to push that knee down. We're going to count to 10. Ready? Push down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Relax. Focus on the back knee. Push down. So the front knee is externally rotating. Back knees internally. 
push down. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So you get the idea? So I want you to try to do both at the same time. And we're going to hold it for 30 seconds, starting now. So actively bring your knees towards the ground. If you don't actually touch the ground, that's fine too. Lean against the wall, get where you get, and you don't get upset. We're 15 seconds in, keep going. Keep going. Breathe, push down. Breathe. Push down. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back up nice and easy and switch sides. Knees to the left. So again, I could be right here, right on top, or I can deepen it by making that space a little bigger. Up to you. So we're gonna do the same thing. Front leg first. Knee down, 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax, back leg, push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe. Now we're gonna do both for 10. Fix my net here, sorry about that. <laughs> All right, ready? Both for 30, sorry. And go. Front leg pushes down, back leg's pushing down. 30 seconds. Breathe, push. Breathe, push. Maybe your knees aren't down, that's okay. Maybe with every exhalation you get further down. Keep going. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Come back up. Nice and easy. All right, so stay here and let's just do some windshield wipers. Five each direction. Three. four and five come back to the right stay right and back to the left stay left and see how it feels does that feel easier than when we first got here i hope so all right go back to the right so either stay here or go into full pigeon with me you'll find out so full pigeon means this leg is staying ideally how it is and this leg is going back as in straight so my hips are pretty tight you see i'm like hanging in the air for me i like to grab a bolster and put it kind of right under my butt in between my foot and the other leg to give me more support you choose whatever is good for you Bring that belly button towards the spine, and we're going to hold this for 30, and then we'll switch sides. Halfway there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come out just as gently as you got into it. And roll yourself over. Get ready for the other side. So pigeon with the left. Get into it. Find your comfort. Play around with whatever you have near you to get it comfortable. And if you just absolutely cannot, then stick to 90-90 and hold that for 30. That's fine. Here we go. 30 seconds. 
So your hands could be flat, and if you have something nearby, you could put your elbows down. You could put your head down if you really get that far, but I don't. And I'm going with fist for right now because my wrists are not in the mood. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Come out of it just slightly as you go into it. Lovely. Let's go straight legs. Maybe shake it out. We're going to finish off with wide leg stretches. So go wide. And a nice little trick to make sure you're not cheating this. Dig your heels in. Push. So we're going to go wide. Oof. And we're going to try to roll in and out. Roll in and out. So you might not get that far. Just see that your knees are doing something. Get that rotation going in and out. Let's do a couple more. Let's do five more. Four, three, two, one. Done. All right. Let's bring the hands up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lean forward. Hands down. So maybe your groin's more flexible than me. You can get elbows down. Good for you. Go for it. And we're going to hold this for. 30, you're actively pulling your toes up, squeezing the quads down, neutral rotation. And here we go. This is what we're going to finish off with. Maybe every exhale you get a little deeper. Up to you. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Come on up, nice and easy. If you want, you can actually help your legs back in. <sighs> and that's it for today. A little rotation, a little stretching, a little isometrics, a little muscle work. Hopefully that helps. You're feeling loose and juicy and pretty good. Any questions or comments, drop them below. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you didn't like. Let me know what surprised you. I'd love to hear it. And subscribe. Every Saturday I'm uploading tutorials, yoga poses, and every once in a while, workouts like these. Later.